hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is electress and i'm a jamaican lifestyle youtuber what's your blows here i look so anyways so guys um as the title suggests today i'll be carrying myself out on a date you know when you have a man you can carry yourself even when you have a man to people you can carry yourself out on a self date anyways me now have none so me will go on a self date and i'm carrying you guys along with me so guys we're going to Devonos. you know just to chill talk you know you want ice cream and of course more to buy ice cream and not buy one and none either so i can't sponsor you guys the ice cream but just the ice cream anything else you guys want the cheesecake and the whatever you know i've got sponsored that one myself but i can't sponsor you guys the ice cream you know guys and i'm going to talk about why is it that i'm 36 still not married don't have any kids you know, when we get into that, you know, we're going to just chill at the Manor. So, let's go. after five you know so you know the sunset are coming now um yeah so we're gonna just go walk and look we'll turn it around devon is cramped people cramped cramped or cramped yeah and getting back to what i was saying before can you carry yourself out on a self date of course you can of course and i saw a tiktok video with um guys i'm not obsessed with tiktok like everything we do me talk about a tiktok 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 so I saw a TikTok video with somebody, um, you know, say you can carry yourself out on a date if, if, even if you go to Emancipation Park and buy a bag goose and a tree chicks and, you know, and I don't know why, because I'm a simple person and I love the simple things of life, I don't know why I can do, them, do some little simple stuff for me, you know, I always I try to do so much stuff for other persons I mean I try to live for me you know and this is a step of me living for me carrying out myself on a self date you know guys and something different than than this self date and what I'm going to talk about guys is uh, no matter where I got you people no matter where I got you if it is that you feel like you get up and you feel this happiness in your spirit no make nobody try to quench like try to out that fire you know try to find a way out to, to kind of out for them for them demons where them have one put on you and just enjoy life in the moment if you get up and feel happy no make nobody quench your happiness you know still push through still laugh still, still smile try to see the, the best in everything that you do you know, like just a while ago, I post a picture about my cat. Like, like in Jamaica here, I don't know. And the comments where the person make like me and say, What should you comment on my video for? She just allow it and move on. But uh, that's how some nasty nigga is. In, them just don't know if a chat say and them just want to carry you down. And that's alright. You know, but I feel happy today. You know, today I'm a self date and as I said, I'm carrying you guys along. And guys, they want to scramp cramped looking for a mask so yeah so let's go 
with a mask. Person there, so I'm gonna come back in the car, but I get something to eat. So, the first thing, guys, is the curry goat patty. Try it yet, before, you know, this is like my second time, second time trying it, yeah. And the first time when we tried people, it was crappy, it was crappy. So, I'm gonna try it now. It tastes like curry goat patty now. Like the first time I have it, I did just pure, pure pepper in taste. Pure pepper in that taste, no curry goat. You know, pepper and curry in that taste and hot. You know, this is piping hot as well. Not like the first one, but this can, you know, this can go on. It tastes good. So it's getting dark now. So let's get into the video. First and foremost, start from the easiest one. Why I don't have any friends? Like I have friends. You know, you don't have a friend and you don't talk to them like two months or occasionally talk to. When it comes down to like best friends and close close friends, I realize uh, I mean, I have that you know, looking at that department honestly like um because i'm naturally a loner and just some stay like me just love my own company you know but when it comes down to friends now i'm a kind of lock off sometimes to some people because we can just be so you know anyways um in terms of friend we have bad experiences with friends we have some good ones and um i have friends but they're like occasional friends like you don't see them you know every now and then it's not friends like where you could uh you know not close this because close the door because um they might have like a little little storytelling for the kids outside so probably yeah hear it so when it comes down to friends now i really do well with friends and uh, Yes, let's keep the circle small, small, small circle. We have our friends, and um, 
Why do I want to find the way? Why do I want to find the way? Yes. Because we just kind of weird, <laughs> I'm kind of weird, and let me enjoy my weirdness, you know. That's me. So, moving on because that's no answer. So, moving on now, why is it that I'm 36 years old and I'm not married? Bigger question. All right, so to be honest with you guys, when I was younger like around my early 20s late teens even when me I grow up that word marriage I hated that word let's start from when me I grow up when me I grow up I hated like when I grow and see when I grow and see especially like with my mother and my father or my mother and my stepfather or my father and my stepmother them you never pretty never pretty I'm growing up seeing not pretty relationships and marriages and it's something that even up to this date it um what do I call it petrifies me honestly petrifies me like I'm so scared of marriage guys I even got a what do I call this again 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 one pastry something and I got um blueberry and kind of So yeah, so when it comes down to marriage, when I was smaller, I never get no, I never see nothing good with relationships and marriages and stuff like that. So I was very scared of marriage. And even when we go into church, you know, I got baptized when I was like 22 years old. And even when I went in the church then, we still marriage was something where we just never have for my head. We just I believe that I could just be in a relationship and just no marriage. And it even reached a stage where we get into some relationships that would never ever come out to marriages. You know, I'm a waste of time in those relationships. I mean, no, I never ever ever materialize in the marriage. You know, and um, the only the only time that I really see marriage and really appreciate. That marriage can be a good stuff is when we really settle down seriously in church like when I was 27 26 and I see people who married and I see how them live towards them one another and I see how them how them loving towards them one another and I see how like God have shine him light through them no darling no like God have shine him light through them you know and that's when marriage kind of kind of that's when marriage kind of look more appeasing to me but even with that, I something I me not run down. I not run down marriage. And if it is that I don't feel, because even my past relationships, there are two relationships that I was in, where like marriage that I talk about, and <laughs> like we just run from that, you know. But me and the marriage thing, me not run to get married because me I get old, or because me I want a child. Like, I will run to have a child more than to have than to be married. No, I'm not run no marriage more. Than. Sorry about that. You know, um, you know, like kind of weird people, kind of weird, and and even when it comes down to uh, like a father daughter relationship, like when when me I grow up, I never have that with my father. Never have that with my father. And even when I see other parents now, like even on WhatsApp, me have one um, schoolmate that we used to go to school together and him have him, I think I have three children, him have now three girls, you know, big up myself doing it for my watch. And the way I'm treating that of them, you know, and him call them princess and stuff like that, like me never have that when me I grow up. Me never have that when me I grow up. Like my father did more go for my brother than me. And I think... I think a lot of persons don't know that when you're growing up, yeah, you might have your mother, but a father's love is something that will, it's something that will kind of guide you for the rest of your life in everything that you do, even your relationships, your future relationships, your work and stuff like that. 
you know, and um, we never have that. And we never see no whole of love, love relationship, a more hug and dog, or either call it cat and dog relationship, you know, and, and that kind of frightened me. Like, relationship that I was in for like six years, and 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 Anytime it comes on near to like him, I get like this marsh thing. Is that me ready for run? Like, him, him always said to myself, I can't understand if somebody who's so overweight always around. Like, I am seriously, I am seriously scared of those stuff, honestly. You know, and I've been in relationships that last um, a good while, and some not. My last, last relationship, guys, I met this guy the first day that I went to where i'm working now first first day and guys like we just started out as just friends like he was in a relationship i was in a relationship like we just know one another like for like two years plus before we really actually said yeah we're gonna do this and um you know over the two years like we just get to know get to know one another so much and even when I get to know one another, sometimes I would have spent hours talking, like seriously people. Like anytime I see people I talk on the phone for like seven, six hours, that means say, what am I chat so? Like, what's so interesting you can find for chat so? And this person, my last relationship, did I come out of? That was how we were. Like we would talk for hours upon hours upon hours. And you know guys, I literally thought he was the one honestly and we know one another for two years and we talk like hours and nights upon nights you know as we reach home and we that on whatsapp or street call or if we have um plan or anything like that and when we finally decide we go in a relationship guys not even last a month not even did last a month and guys you need to follow me on tiktok as well because I think I'm going to do some story time or some relationships, some like in-depth story time. You know, and it never lasts a month. And I don't think I am the person to be blamed 100%. And people, when you go in a relationship, you're fast. You see, when people love fast in your business and open your business, fast too. Fast too. You know, and it's good when you're fast and you find out the truth from earlier than when you waste the time you know them something there you know so yeah so for me marriage me now run going on marriage because me I get older because if you don't know I'm 36 years old I'm gonna force myself to get married because of age nah you know and then now we're moving on to the other question why is it I'm 36 years old and I don't have any kids to be honest with you guys, I've never, ever, ever, like, been trying to have a child in any relationship I, I was ever in. Never. And uh, looking back now and I'm realizing that if it is that you're going into a relationship and... Yeah, you might not know the person and you yeah, try to get to know the person at first. So, I can't even say, but I never say at first, say, if it is that you're not planning... If it is that you're looking at them and them don't look like a marriage material or a father material. That I was the first, but I say it can't say it because you don't know where you get into at first. You have to really actually get to know the person, and that's how you build relationships. You know the person, and if it is that you can work with, you move from there. So if not, you move on. So I've never been in a relationship where I felt. Um, comfortably enough to even try to have a child never and I think it all comes down to my mindset again and and what I grew up and see like things that I have been through me no one none of my people them to go through it and is that me, me I try to set a foundation first before me even do that and even now at 36 me still a struggle to set that foundation you know I am open to the option of sperm donor. You know, a lot of persons do it, you know, people, a lot of persons do it, and yeah, I'm open. I mean, there are persons who I could reach out to and <laughs> ask them to donate sperm or whatever. You know, but 
it's not something that me I run down and even now I still don't feel like I'm ready for a child because I'm not financially stable the foundation I said I need to set before I even have a child it's not even the foundation not even the standby for the foundation as yet the foundation is non-existent at this time the only foundation that is there is God <laughs> and I think that is the best foundation you could build on because as you know the Bible says children are a blessing from God and when I, when people have you know, some things just work out, I just I just say, you know, me, me just always have this fear, you know, and the kind of father when me would I want for my children them. In my past relationships, them only a few had it, but at that time I wasn't really ready for a child, you know. And going back to marriage, you know, I realized that. Persons who I like don't like me, and then persons who really like me, I don't like them. I don't like them. And, um, I don't know why. You know, and, and persons who even not try to go out and courtship or stuff like that. Like, I'm an old soul. I believe in, like, getting to know somebody before you do anything else and when I say get to know somebody I mean like in depth get to know somebody like we talk and we go upon several dates before we reach anywhere else or anything like that and the guys that I meet up on is just sex 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 you know and to me for me we don't truly grow and be real vulnerable to somebody I have to really actually get to know you and not sexually the other way your emotional or your deal with stress you know if me say something to you or you react to me and stuff like that I'm different and even even saying that I realize that I'm still guarding myself because I joined like some dating apps and I don't go on the apps regularly and you know and sometimes you would match with somebody and I tell you I talk with the person and and you just stayed with them and asked for my number and it's like me just shut down. We just literally shut down. So it's like me just have this guard. You know, and it's it's not that me now I give them a number but me don't want to waste my time I give people my number and it's just a waste of time because it best to just know them panda platform the first and know say yeah if something can work or whatever they move from that you know but yeah and that's my two cent people when well, i'm 36 years old so sorry for the lighting because i get dark now it's now 40 minutes after six you know i'm gonna leave it till about eight o'clock i'm gonna go and walk around and chill you know and stuff like that but the video going in now yeah and going back to the, the the um website that I'm on for dating. And most of them when I meet up and it's just sex. It's just sex like like alright, for instance, meet this brother on this dating app. And him find my Instagram or whatever, whatever and we start talking on Instagram. You know just start talking on Instagram. And reach a stage you now it's like this brother does always come up with this sense like you can't come look for me he never ever asked me on a date or anything like that no i should have said never ever he did but he more push come look for me we could netflix and chill and stuff like that I remember like one at a time like he might get ignorant for me like he might say come look for me now so may i say why you make it so and so? What do you mean come look for you now? Like, 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 you know, like when somebody, I don't know if I say, like when somebody has said, so go and go put it down you now, like them I get ignorant from you. I'm going to say, you know, there. And like him, him start to push it now. He not push it now. And you can realize that this is a thirst trap, hungry, horny, drunk row with just one fuck. Just one sex, sorry. And um, you reach a stage you now, like me, me just stop answering him, and him just still a push the sex thing. And him, like him, I say, like him, I say, you still not come now. 
Let me say, you know, some have hundred thousand for pay off by the end of the month. Pay off for me, no? You know, Mister. Anytime I realize that people are that way, like them, I push this sex thing, even though I'm not comfortable. I deal with them something, and I start push back, push back on them. So you're the body boy, no? You're the, you're the umbrella. You know, some me could I know say you're one hell of a woman. I must say, you must push a sex thing for me now because you want sex. Me, me never say I want sex or anything like that. And me push back when me want to him and I say, me is a hell of a person. And them something there, when me and meet up, it's like me just constantly I meet up on them people. Eh? Constantly meet up on those people and it just make me so irated and it just make me lock off more to people. You know, I know she's not good, and that is why we're on a self date today. We're to about myself, we're to treat myself. You know, we're, you know, look, like we are a fat This is out there in the market. Just enjoy ourselves. You know, so, so guys, I'm so sorry about the lighting. It's now <coughs> 17 after 6. It's late now. Um, I'm now going to about 8, 9 o'clock. I'm going to go back out there and, you know, chill and just taking the evening and enjoy myself self date myself you know and that's okay nothing is wrong if you date yourself nothing is wrong so until um, next time later people bye guys i totally forgot please subscribe you know please leave a like when you, whenever it is that you leave a like you know it does help my video so thank you so very much for watching my video as I said before, you know, self date yourself, if you're married people, carry yourself out, go eat an ice cream, go drink a coffee, just carry yourself out, enjoy life, not stress too much over life, I'm realizing, uh, I was watching something on TikTok the other day and they were saying like, in life, every stage of life, you all want something else, and that's what a lot of persons used to not be happy. Like for instance, he was saying that he had, like when he was um, a little bit more, you know, on the poor side, him go like somewhere and him could not afford cheese like for two dollars. And it was a big thing for him, you know, him, him could have wait for him to afford the whole thing. And then him up in life now and him reach where he buy a $200 steak. And I'm still make a fuss about it because it never do the right way or it did to do. And you know, I'm just a try for sure I say no matter what in life, always be gratitude. Always have gratitude. Always be grateful. You know, the simplest of things, try to find gratitude in them. And that will make you enjoy life more. And I realize that it's that is so 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 true. And you always want more, 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 more. And it's like you just can't get the quench or even if you when you do get the quench, like if you turn a millionaire or a billionaire, you know, you see sometimes you see them a kill off themselves because them just no gratitude them not grateful. You know, them no them not them not gratitude them not show gratitude for them have or them not appreciate what they have. You know, so same thing with you guys, appreciate what you have no matter what. even if you're single like me. Like guys, I am single, not married and I don't have any kids. And I'm not a hundred percent sad that I would want children more than even marriage. But I'm not a hundred percent sad, but sometimes I'm depressed. But it's not a hundred percent because of those factors. You know, so I'm realizing so the simpler things me enjoy in life because I'm a simple, simple, simple person. You know? You know, so let's enjoy life enjoy life and do what you want to do if you love something follow it and do what you want no business nobody wants to say you know so until next time people later bye